As we've been looking at solving these systems of equations, we've been using substitution to get one variable alone and substitute into the other equation. However, quite often as we're solving pr systems of equations, trying to find the solution for x and y that makes both equations true, it turns out there's no lone variable. In this case, it may be better to use an alternate method known as addition, or as some textbooks call it, elimination. And the way this method works is we add the left and right sides of the equation together. So for example, if we have negative 8x minus 3y equals negative 12 and 2x plus 3y equals 6, we can line up the equal sign and add the left and right sides of the equation together. Negative 8x plus 2x is negative 6x. And notice negative 3y plus 3y is 0. That eliminates completely. On the right side, negative 12 and negative 6 comes out to negative 18. Now I have a simple equation I can solve by just dividing by negative 6. This gives me x equals 3. We have to do a little more work to figure out what y equals. We're going to take this value for x and we're going to plug it in for x in one of the equations. It doesn't matter which equation, so I usually pick the one with the smaller numbers. How about the 2x plus 3y equals negative 6? 2x, x we know is 3, plus 3y equals negative 6. Simplifying, 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3y equals negative 6. And then we can solve the two-step equation by first subtracting 6 from both sides to get 3y equals negative 12, and finally dividing both sides by 3 to end up with y equals negative 4. Our final answer as an xy pair, x is 3 when y is negative 4. This is the solution that makes both equations a true equation. Let's look at one more example where we can add the left and right sides together. In example 2, notice when we add the left and right sides together, the negative 5x plus 5x subtract out to 0. We then have 9y minus 6y is 3y equals to 29 minus 11, which is 18. We can get y alone by simply dividing both sides by 3, and we end up with y equals 6. We still need to find our x, and so we'll take this y equals 6 and plug it into one of the original equations. Again, it doesn't matter which equation, so I pick the one with the smaller numbers. The second equation seems to have smaller numbers, so let's plug it in there. 5x minus 6y, which we know is 6, equals negative 11. Simplifying, negative 6 times 6 is negative 36, so 5x minus 36 equals negative 11. Adding 36 to both sides, working on the two-step equation, we end up with 5x equals 25. Finally, we get the x alone by dividing both sides by 5. This gives us x equals 5. Of course, this isn't our final answer, because our final answer is written as an xy pair, x comma y. When x is 5, y is 6. We have now found the solutions by adding the equations together using the addition or elimination method.